Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Sweet Sounds ASMR with Laura. I wanted to take a minute and thank you all very much for um, sticking with me the last couple of weeks. I know uh, I haven't been posting as many videos. Um, had a crazy last month or so. I went out of country and then I came back just in time for a hurricane and actually had to go out of town because of it then got stuck out of town, um, then I got extremely sick, and then I actually moved. So, it's been a crazy couple of weeks, and I haven't been able to post as many videos, and I do apologize for that. Thank you all very much for sticking with me through it, but um, it should be a much smoother um, ride from here on out, and uh, I love making these videos for you. I've been listening to ASMR myself for several years, so being able to make these videos to hopefully give people um, the relaxation and ability to sleep and things that the videos have given to me is a wonderful honor and I love doing this for you all. So uh, thank you very much again and I do apologize for some of my absences and not having as many videos, but I have a lot of videos um, in mind that I am working on, a lot of your requests that I'm working on, so please keep those coming. And thank you again for your loyalty and sticking with me. Uh, now that I am mostly moved in, still a little bit of a mess here, but mostly moved in, I've been getting some decorations for the fall. Uh, so fall is right around the corner. Uh, for some of you, maybe it's already there. Uh, I live in Florida, so it hasn't quite hit us just yet. But I love decorating and getting in the mood because um, the holiday season is my favorite season. And I absolutely love the fall and love Halloween. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen some of my cosplays as well. I love to dress up, love to cosplay, come up with different designs. I'm actually working on my own character that I'll be um, hopefully to cosplay if I can get it all done in time uh, by next spring. So definitely keep up with that. But for today's video, I want to show you some of the really fun fall things that I've gotten to decorate my new home. As you all know, I love candles, absolutely love candles. So I found this, Aromance. It's a pumpkin pie scented candle and smells absolutely amazing. Figure we might as well light this to help set the mood for the video. <sighs> the pumpkin pie smell it smells so great. Makes me want to bake. smell to you. It smells just like pumpkin pie. Mmm. Love that smell. That'll be perfect for setting the mood today. of you commented before also uh, enjoying my cats in the video. Unfortunately there's just no good way to keep them out of the videos if they choose to be in the shot. So you probably see this little one right over here. Not so little actually. She's a big girl. Uh, her name is Spock since a lot of you were asking about the kitties. Um, yes, a girl named Spock. She was unfortunately abandoned on the side of the road and I found her. 
brought her home, fell in love with her. She was so tiny though at that point, just a little kitten that we honestly didn't know her gender and her ears were bigger than the rest of her, so uh, Spock seemed adequate and once we found out what her gender was, she already knew her name, she's very smart, so uh, that's Spock. So I got some fall uh, items, but I also got some items more specific to Halloween. Uh, so far, I've actually gotten this Halloween garland. I haven't figured out exactly where to put it up just yet. I was thinking about just draping it across um, either some of the tables or um, the stands that I have around the house. Uh, I was also debating draping it around our uh, window, so if you have any thoughts on how this could um, best serve a purpose around here for decoration, let me know. But it's black and then has little orange pumpkins on it. I just thought it was very cute, super festive. So it's 12 feet or 3.65 meters of garland. So it could probably hang nicely around the door, um, or it could just be best used to be draped along one of my uh, decorative tables. So I might end up trying it in a couple of different places, but let me know your thoughts if uh, you have any other thoughts places I could drape this that maybe I haven't thought of. I'd appreciate it. got this from Target. Dangerous to go shopping in Target sometimes. The other day I just went in for a uh, frozen pizza. Walked out with a lot more than just a frozen pizza. Target does that to you, so be careful. Uh, then I went into Home Goods and found a lot of really cute fall decorative items. And one of those is this cute pumpkin. So it's almost kind of more of a bronze gold color on the stem and the leaves, and kind of a gold orange coloration around it. I'm not entirely sure what it's made out of, but not quite wood, might be kind of a plasticky. Not very heavy, pretty light. And metallic right here.
good size, nice decoration piece, nice accent piece. I really love this one. I'm going to keep my eyes open for uh, one that's a little bit smaller that can go as a secondary accent with it though. Absolutely love it. Nice and shiny. Nice and light in color. Very festive. So it's from Home Goods. And then also from Home Goods, I am going to just show you one right now. But I actually got three of these, these little candle holders. Good size to it and they come in three different sizes so I did get all three sizes and inside we just put our own little candle so just an artificial candle and just turn it on get to see. Oh. Oh. really nice to go and use when you have the lights down. You're watching a scary movie. You just turn this on. Like that. Pop it right in. And it, at night time it creates a beautiful glow. Flickers as if it's a real light. Causes some really pretty coloration coming out of this. Because the oranges, ambers, and browns in it makes it glow very, very pretty, nice, warm kind of a glow. It's a really nice fall kind of feel, nice warm feel inside the house. And lastly, I love having different fall leaves around the house. I actually do want to get a few more that are almost garland-like, uh, the leaves that are just on the long vines that I can drape around as well. I think that adds a great feel to the home. Uh, so I decided to 
also get this piece. It has some beautiful fall foliage, some changing leaves and flowers, and some hidden pumpkins. It has the greens, but also some yellows, purples, oranges, and browns. I just thought it was a beautiful piece that could really tie in my accent of um, my candles and also the pumpkin and eventually when I do get some flowers and leaves, some fake uh, leaves and flowers that can go along the vine around the house, I think it'll really tie everything in very nicely. And then of course I'll have my Halloween garland up closer to the actual day and I'll want to get a couple of more Halloween type of items, still keeping my eyes out. It's one of my favorite pieces, though. I've been setting it out right next to the candle, and it uh, creates a nice fall feel and scent as soon as you walk in the house. Walk in the door. See, I really like these little purple leaves in here. We even have these little green pieces and some green leaves to show uh, the transition. And I love, love the orange flower. Probably my favorite part of this piece. The one thing that really gives it that character, that really brings in the fall uh, idea, and of course the Halloween idea, is having those hidden pumpkins in there. Love the piece. I think it's very pretty, very festive. <laughs> so far, that is all I've gotten to help decorate my new place for the fall season. I plan to get a couple of more things to really, like I said, tie in um, some of the accents that I have, such as the leaves on the vine. But then I also want a few more uh, specific Halloween items. So. Uh, if you've seen any really nice items at any other locations that um, I probably haven't seen just yet, had any recommendations how I could tie these all together, um, I would greatly appreciate it. Just comment below. Um, and then, like I said, I'm getting back into the swing of things officially. I am taking to heart a lot of the recommendations and requests that you've put on some of the other videos. Um, but I am looking at making my own Patreon account as well. So if you do have some specific requests, uh, definitely keep an eye out for when that is generated because that would be the best place to reach me. In the meantime, uh, the best place to reach me also is going to be on my Instagram, lauren.christina18. Uh, so reach for me there and uh, send me a DM if you have any requests in the meantime. Uh, that is the easiest place for me to see requests for right now, but again, we'll be making that Patreon account soon. So. Thank you very much, and I look forward to your feedback uh, as I try to make my home uh, not just my place to live that I'm almost done moving into, uh, but also making it nice and festive for the upcoming holidays. Thank you very much, and again, thank you.
sticking with me through those difficult weeks. It's amazing to be back. Take care.